Now, my name is Paul Alanza, reporting for APA TV. Now, many times we see dancing competition, singing competition, all kinds of competition in the entertainment circle, okay? But no organization or persons have deemed it fit that we should go back home. We all know farming and hunting is the oldest, the oldest occupation in the whole world. But some people in the Dumalan saw it fit that they should go back home because right now the inflation rate in Nigeria is very, very high. Food stuff are very, very expensive. This migration from people in the village migrating to the city, searching for work. But then the owners of this competition deem it fit that they should look inward. They are from Benue State and then Benue State is known for farming the food basket of the nation. They have fertile lands everywhere. Right now, you could see ridges done by people in the competition. There are various uh, criteria in this competition, okay? There's farming and then there's hunting. Each and the government is not a local 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 they organize school farming competition yeah, because I love to get her nehi. I can have ma. I love to get her nehi. Tete ya nehi halo leku food basket of the nation na. I love to get her again. Do you know Nasra no ya just like ma Nasra ka get her ofi halo get. So I can no kela gama. I said oh why not? Or then nunge ya nge get ku improve seedlings. Nunge be get be waga tabo like pola lo nunge oti no her it bank pa. Ibantwa yi pu odi nya ibi nya wa nu zaria ibantwa no ke ya nu nya oge ba egepe egeta oke ba lo lo hi very well o ya lo lo hi so mbi o I think about sixteen bags of this one and sixteen bags kuwa da bi tabo kodeni o ya then it pocho ila boy noa enya o regular it pocho ila ayon noma it pocho ila no ge ya for six months. Nenya gea or you couldn't babo boa about six bundles numbiwa or chokitabo you couldn't look fertilizer ga might not go around because of the no gewa ge won in but in a lo ke rich kunugla a lo ge rich na lo geje um eo du manu na competition eo ya doa yes so or them nungea um or to no ge jobu no ge jobua not in aga ja no but what that would nayo ja and get support kochoma Mem no ten thousand, no get jobu. Tabo. Tabo. One, two, three. Then, or to no get tompa. Mem no meta. Nka get you ten thousand, what bo? Aya. 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 Then, unfortunately, what I can do is I need to work here all year. Nge li ni lawa, but all the same, get you ten thousand. Hataje. Wow. So total. Round of applause. Thirty thousand naira. Nge je lo organizer, no get omala. Aya nen. Aya po. Ainya nalo biotoa, ainya unene unene unene. O afleni o yayo, umma yangu ibi. Oda dud no ijo legi cho, no kei promote to youth, most especially baba no unwale e e e ipe e pabote e o de e e ainya. O ika lo tigbe la ku laziness, idleness, ge cause unwa. O ma nalo weche mem no programs e e e no ge che laipia, ge mude ni o yaya no i promote a e no ki o yude. Koke kwe tu stars celebrity na lohoa noge chela chagi yoy lekuwa noge doko bluwa aloke mayam no programs eh eh ya ku etija enya kioge jio ukipo chama my support kalo aloiko do tu leta fog budien eno kano kiwa eno kiwa apo eno ya wipachi support kalo mem na ode eh eh mbaya yoy eno kiji je ku koke support ku ache eno kiwi na. So then I'll be able to do all the things. I'll be able to do all the things. I'll be able to replenish the things. I'll be able to do all the things. Then I'll be able to do all the things. 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 Particular species are the grown man from grass to grass. Any of first one, I'll go here. 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 I'
in such a way that preliminary schoolwa every local government ge yakuwa ile ya na loga you final like pehoi ajidoma o piko tupo no ajidoma amanya na loga you final so magawa ke je ajidoma aku next year o tupo local government lakuwa ya pehoi o tupo we o gbadibo lakuwa ya pehoi o gbadibo le ale 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 ya winners no nga bo a wa ga ku ka ya ku generally do ma e ko ma do o igba chenya aloke introduce competition ka chenya we put no do because a chenya e e e complain ko o de alo pa ikum la ni ka chenya oke he ho do a nya ngun ngun once more alo to chairman a nya o e choko ke bless ko no ko ke bless e jenja cheno ke talk wa a nya ngun there's a whole lot energy in the soil okay now the best farmer is going to emerge today the best marksman is going to emerge today yes in the land and these marksmen are actual real hunters we interviewed a couple of them and then the farmers too are also real farmers the computer came up to see how they can help young people live social vices okay and then engage in something very positive Idoma is known for food, it's known for hard-working men and women. As you can see behind me, there are ridges that spread miles and miles across into the forest. So viewers, sit back and watch the Idoma people do what they know how to do best, farming. Paduma <laughs> My name is uh, Mr. Edigakwa. I'm a farmer. I'm a businessman and um, I'm one of the major supporters of uh, Ogeji, uh, this competition that's going on here. And um, we are here to see what's going on and then to encourage the young people and the farmers to continue on with the business of farming. Thank you. What you are seeing here is in conjunction with Echija. We always try to bring back memories of the things we used to know. Outside farming, the cuisine is very important. The food that we used to eat in the past, the natural cuisines that we have, we want to use it, use this occasion to bring them back, back more back into the limelight. If you go over there, you see people eating all kinds of food that we used to eat in the past. And there, there are other natural ways that we, we eat. Okay, roasting of corn is going on there. Yes, uh, this is one of the fun of this uh, competition. Uh, the event is meant to showcase different uh, uh, talent in uh, farming and at the same time we we'll see a, a variety of different wild uh, uh, fruits. Uh, we we'll call this one Ichinkla and it's very rich in vitamin C. In those days the farmers used it to make wine and it's very very sweet. Uh, you see uh, at least today we are opportune to see it for a very long time if I'm not mistaken or uh, over 30 years now I've not seen this and today I'm opportune to see it again. So, like I said, it's, uh, it's an opportunity for us to go back to the, the, the days before now that we, we enjoy wild fruits and we farm and we value the farmers around. So, this is one of the fun. And if you go further out of this place, you see different uh, food variety that we have. And they are local food. You find uh, a moimoi in a tin that we used to enjoy when we were young. 
and you see uh, uh, the the uh, aka. We call it aka. I don't want to call it bean cake. They are all here. They are all here. We don't. I don't want to call it bean cake. I want us to, to call it with the original name aka. The African name, yeah. the African name because the, the Westerners have their pizzas. Yeah. So aka is our own. So we have aka here. We have uh, uh, alele. Uh, yes, they call it uh, moi moi, or you can call it uh, baked beans, but we call it uh, alele. We have our olo. If you grew up around here, it was a common pastime. You see people gather here playing olo. Our children don't know it. These are from from snail shells that we use. We play. We're doing it here. We have ujo around here where people gather and play olo. Outside that, we have sharpshooters, people who are hunters. You know hunting goes with farming. We have very sharp shooters here who are going to demonstrate their prowess today here. And then outside that, we have a lot of other activities. You see people gathered there, you see somebody leading them in folk tales, teaching them, telling them stories that will make you happy, laugh, and tell you more about the culture and the history of the people. So there's a whole lot of activities going on. It's been a sense of great worry for us, especially those of us who are, we look at the real sector, we look at the people, we look at the trend that is going on in this country. And then we know that the destiny of this country is in our hands. For us who are even the older ones, we have a whole huge population of the younger ones coming up. And then the, the, the trend has been to go Western, encouraging dancing competition, beauty contest and all. For us, that's not the way forward. The way forward is to look at the things that will bring real development to the people. Agriculture is the mainstay of our people here in Otupo, in Benue State, and of course Africa as a whole. And we believe that we must go back to the land. And how do we go back to the land? By encouraging the young people to see the advantages in going back to the land to farm. What is happening here today is, um, yes, of course, you see people do handle holes, cutlasses, which is the manual uh, farming that we know. We are using this as a point of contact. Of course, agriculture has advanced beyond this, but we want people to know what was obtained in the past. And how were we farming? We are farming with holes. Today, if you don't have a tractor, it does not mean you cannot farm. Okay? We have abundant labor around too. So we are telling people that we using the basic implements of farming, we can do something. We can bring about development. We can grow food for people to eat. We can make money from farming, starting from that rudimental level. But as we go on, we start with the bowl, with the holes, the cutlasses, we graduate. We are looking forward to a situation where, with time, we'll be able to bring people together and um, begin to get tractors for communities, for cooperatives, so we can advance beyond this. But this is a starting point. Tell you something. Something is happening. There is a whole revolution going on. We are here. The young man that has this whole farm here, Mr. Odu, he has done so much. He's in Lagos, plying his trade, making his money, but he knows that we have the potentials here because truly this is the food basket of the nation. I live in Abuja and um, in the last, last four months I've been home. I farm. I'm into, I have a huge farm, cassava farm. 
I mean to rice and have a factory and we work together. We are more than 20 of us who, who were raised in this town, we're putting hands together to see how we can begin to encourage people. If you look around, the whole host of people here, they are from far, but are into farming. Aggregates of two hectares, three hectares, five hectares. And we know that the way we are going, we are going to make, bring it to tracing that this is the food basket of the nation. We know that at the end of this harvest season, we hope that we'll encourage, um, invite APA TV to see what we have harvested. And we want to see the value chain, how it's going on. Like I told you, I'm into Gary production. If you go to my farm today, the factory is on my farm. If you go today, there are over 40, 50 young men, women working there at various levels. And that's what we're seeing here today. Outside this, what you are seeing here, you are seeing all the big farms and all, there's a poultry unit and all. We hope that with encouraging people, we bring to tourism, just like I said, that this is the food basket of the nation and we are going to attain it. I am very, very sure. I am very, very certain. The results are already beginning to come in. But by the end of this farming season, and when we begin to harvest, we'll be able to call you to see what we have put together. <laughs> Ala bo date no ya haje ka bolona ku YouTube wa. Abona la bo doa o wo chuge ho ha chuge. Efe mwa, ye hotu, ye hotu lume iku.